Hello and welcome to Zoe Photography. Today I'm going to be showing you my Goodman's action camera and going through the menus as well as giving you a quick video to show you what the photo capabilities of it are and the video. I have done a whole separate playlist on this cheap 1080p action camera which you could find in the cards. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe so future videos come straight to you. But this video is more of just an overview of how to use the menus of this action camera and what happens. So you can see when it didn't have the memory card in there and I turned it on using the power button on the front, it said no card. And um, so when you put a card in, you can actually start using the options. So this is a power button on the front, which also lets you select the mode. So that's between photo, video and playback. So that's your main button for that. It can get a little confusing, but you've got a little icon here showing you which menu you're on. So right now I'm on the video mode. I'll use my little Swiss Army knife just to give you an example of the video straight away. Say if you're going into another video to see what the quality is like. But this is going to be a video of this Swiss Army knife relatively close up and under good lighting conditions. And this is what it looks like. It records at 1080p at 30 frames a second. So using that mode button again, I can switch from that to picture mode. And using the OK button on the top of the camera, I can take a photo. So that's what the photo looks like and i'll show you how to delete a photo as well because i know that's the question that's come up so what you do is go into the playback mode and onto the photo that you want to delete which is shown by like that little icon there if it's got a video icon it means it's a video clip if it hasn't it's a picture hold and click and hold that down button and you'll get this option you can either lock the photo or delete it so in this case i went down to delete and press the ok button on top yes and then it says, do you want to delete all or one? And I said one, and then went out of that menu by going mode button back. So that's a quick overview of how to delete photos if you want to. And here's a few more photos just to give you an idea that it is okay for close-up photography at a pinch. So if you're using it and it's your sole camera, then if you're especially on holiday because it's so small, it's easy to carry around. Okay, so this photo menu, you get into this by pressing the down button while you're on camera live camera that is so here you can see the resolution click ok and that's your options there for which resolution you want the picture to be taken at so that's how big the photo will be in terms of pixels so you can see there's a few options here and you can choose which is the best and um, because they're relatively small photos i always take it at the biggest size um, and they've been respectable it's not great for top photos but that's me comparing it against dslrs and other cameras i use so this, but in the camera settings, there are some additional options, things like single shot burst photo, where it takes like three or four photos together and you can pick the best one. Time lapse, um, I have a separate video of the time lapse that I did with this camera. That's between how quickly the photos are taken every two seconds, or every 10 seconds and continuous lapse, which is carries on until the card gets filled up. Keep pressing down, it basically goes through that menu. So now I press the mode button and there you can see that's a playback. I press it again and I come to the camera icon in the top left corner which shows this is the movie mode. So movie size, I've got full HD which is 1920, 1080 and then HD and then just normal 640, 480. And the next one has a date stamp. Do you want that visible on videos? Uh, yes or no. And looping video so it just carries on recording if you're using it as a dash cam for example. And exposure is an interesting one. It lets you make it a little darker, a little brighter. You can experiment with that depending on what location you're in. So you can see the darker tends to do better if you've got good light. And um, so, yep, that's that menu. So that's two menus that we've covered. And the other one was how to delete a photo. The last one here you've got is, I'm just going through that again just to make sure you've seen them. So yeah, movie size is basically using the three options, the mode button on the front of the camera, the top button acts as an OK button, and the mode acts as a back button as well. So that's basically your menus and how to navigate between them and that is playback mode so you can carry on going down and if there's a key there you press the top button it plays back the video you recorded so here you can see that it has got a little mic uh, sorry a little uh, speaker so you can hear slight audio coming back out of this as well so compared to other cameras the 1080p is a decent action camera i basically mark it off goodman's off the front um, and that's the buttons on the side okay on the top you've got a stick it on the bottom of it which actually hides the battery so let me take that out and show you the battery and um, so that's just taking a sticker off and there i won't use the knife because that's quite sharp i'll use a little uh, flat screwdriver so you take the little cap off there 
and you can buy some extra batteries if you want longer battery life and that's little battery there so that should make you check out the next video because that'll give you more details about this video and i'll see you in the next video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe so future videos come straight to you